Hiya. Hi. Hi, 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 hi. <clears> hello. Hi. This is a gay <clears throat> and a non gay. I'm Dan Hudson. I'm James Barr. Um, this is episode five. Welcome along. I'm going to start with a uh, a glowing review really? from Red Baron. Are we allowed to read these reviews I'm out? Not sure. Well, actually, the, the they're they're there, the, so it's fine. They're there in the public domain. Most of them have been pretty positive, actually. I've got to say, there's one that you're that's getting your goats, shall we say? <laughs> getting your goats. <laughs> Unless you think every word in a sentence should be punctuated with the word like, and keeping up with the Kardashians is more vital to life than oxygen, you will probably find this podcast as mind-numbingly boring as I did. No substance, no humour, just two blokes, I've never been called a bloke before, talking about nothing of interest to anyone else. I think that's an unfair of you for a few reasons. One, we don't mention the Kardashians, we haven't mentioned them once. Not until now. So that's bizarre point to pick up on that's true but i think they were more referring to the fact that our lifestyle is very much off the card actually although it's clearly not, I'm not sure i think they're is. more just referring to the fact that you're saying like a lot so they're like 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 right, okay they're like oh it's so like the kardashians like this is again and on gate episode five um we are here i by the way can i just say i don't think this is this is gonna be that funny but talia my girlfriend upon me sending a text uh last week was like oh my god you've got to get in the studio with james and talk about this it's gonna be hilarious that's what we're here. Okay. Um, I don't think it's that funny. I think it's quite a serious and sensible thing to do. Um, oh, God, that means it isn't. Knowing you like I know you now, after the last five weeks of seeing you, I feel like this is probably not something that's funny well, or like something everybody does. Just saying. Okay. Well, I don't think it's funny either. Basically, I I am an owner of a garden. Um, <laughs> Why would you find that funny? Just carry on, I'll get to it, it's fine. Uh, and I... <laughs> I have a garden. <laughs> a garden! Who says that? I so have wh- a garden. What do you mean, who says that? I don't know, it's just a weird way to open a sentence. I, I okay, so Nelson Mandela has a dream. You have a garden. <laughs> no, it no, it's was Martin not Luther Nelson King. Mandela. Oh, God, I always do that. Let's just rewind. Who, who do you think said I have a dream? Martin Luther King. You have a garden. <laughs> yes, I'm reasonably healthy. What, why are you rolling your eyes? I just don't know where the story's going and I'm bored. Well, we'll get that quicker if you shut up. <sighs> Basically, I'm going to buy some chickens and Tally <laughs> thinks this is hilarious. <laughs> As... <laughs> <laughs> why? What? Why are you buying chickens? Sorry. Why are you buying chickens? No. I, I was explaining why, but you didn't okay, want to hear it, so I've it. just gone straight to it. Okay, cool. Now you want to know. I just don't know why you're doing that. Well, Sorry, it's just that. Okay. Because as I was saying, <clears throat> I have a garden um, and I eat reasonably healthy. I actually, I spend quite a lot of money on eggs. Yeah. So it just makes sense <laughs> to have a... <laughs> no way! Have a ready egg supply oh in the garden. Oh my God, no way! So you want to buy... Hang on, where's your garden? In your house? So you've got a it's garden... in the house. You've got it's, a garden it's, outside? It's, yes. Well, how big is it? Big enough. <laughs> You have a, you live in London and you have a garden. Yes. Wow. I think the reason I found the fact that you said I have a garden funny is because that is quite a random thing to just come out with. I've got a garden. I have a garden. Yeah, Great. But I would just go to someone in the street and tell them, but we're having a conversation and it's the setup to. But Dan, we've already discussed. I am like someone in the street. We don't even know like, each if other. I, if I just announced I was having chickens okay. and didn't have a garden, that would be. Well, worrying. no normal person would just be like, oh, by the way, I've decided I'm going to get chickens. But the fact that you've built it up like some I, big... No, but I didn't, I didn't build it up. I specifically did. said that, specifically, I, that I didn't think you, this was a big no, deal. And then you definitely built it up. Anyway. First of all, I'm like, why are you getting chickens? Because we'll just, you want to have eggs. Yes. Right? Just buy eggs. They're not that expensive. Like a pound. It adds up when a pound versus three. So I went to my mate... How much is a chicken? <laughs> I went to my... Stop laughing. <laughs> you want... <laughs> I'm going to find myself... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry to again on gay fans. How much is chicken? Uh, how much is the chicken? <laughs> Shut up. Just as <laughs> oh, I can't. How much is the chicken? <laughs> I was at my friend Flea's house. Okay. Uh, in Birmingham. <clears throat> yep. And he's got chickens. Okay. How many has he got? Two. And does he have to feed them? Yeah, but he just feeds them like, he just makes like a bit of extra dinner. <laughs> <laughs> That's not funny. Does he lay a place on the table? <laughs> he makes a bit of extra dinner. Dan, you can't get chickens. It's no, ridiculous. Just, uh, it's just good because I, 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 I always make too much dinner. 
Um, <laughs> I can't believe you're going to get chicken. Because I, like, I cook for two okay. in my head, even though, because I'm, I'm used to cooking for two, but I'm actually living on my own, so... Can I just I, answer this phone call? I've got my friends ringing me. Hello? Hi. Hey, babes, you all right? Are you in town? I'm still recording. It's midnight. Can I ask you a quick question? Yeah. If I told you I was going to buy... <laughs> if I told you... If I told you... Hello, John? Hi. If I told you I was going to buy two chickens to look after, what would you say? Two chickens and a what now? No, if I told you I was going to buy two chickens to look after in my garden, would you say that was all right? Well, I mean, what's your reaction oh, to that? Oh, I'd say, honey, that's two more cocks than you can handle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and if I told you the reason for that was because I, I didn't want to waste money on buying eggs anymore, would you think I'd gone absolutely mental? No, but I'd say if you live in London, where the hell are you going to keep chickens? Whereas if you were my parents and you live like you know out of London, then I'd say that's a sensible business plan. Yeah. Because and it, and did you know if chickens are stressed, they won't lay eggs. Say that again. Relax. If outside, indoor chickens won't lay eggs. So you'd have to live out of London to be able to do that. Well, because chickens that are stressed don't lay eggs. Yeah, exactly. Right. And chickens don't aren't aren't relaxed inside. They need to be in the grass. Right. So John John raised a very good point there. Um, sorry for the mobile phone feedback. The, the chickens, that are st- chickens that are stressed don't lay eggs. And but my chickens aren't no, going to be stressed. Yeah, but I have to spend 10 minutes with you once a week at the minute, and that is stressing me out massively. So any chicken is not going to lay an egg within a mile of, of you. No, but they are. Like, no, Dan, it's ridiculous. Just what? go and sp- don't buy... Ch- you'll, they'll die. You won't... What you, you, can't look after chi- you can't look after chickens. What? Awful. It's awful. Please don't. What do you mean it's awful? Why I'd rather, is... Do you know what? If I was a chicken, <laughs> I'd rather be in some battery farm treated like absolute rubbish than live with you. Genuinely. Wait, why are you... Well, you just, we were just talking before we started recording this because a guy that was going to move into your house moved in, right? And then two minutes later, after you left him with the key, left and, and then text you saying, really sorry, mate. I don't feel like I can be here. I don't feel comfortable. Right? What do you think, what do you think the chickens are going to do? Well, the chickens are going to be living outside. Yeah. I know you haven't been around. I appreciate it's rare to have a garden in London, but I do have one. Okay, cool. And that's why it's a complete no-brainer when you actually think about it. And what are you going to put them in? More like a chicken coo or whatever they're called. A what, sorry? A chicken coo. <laughs> that was, that's what will happen if you have chickens. <laughs> They'll have a coo and leave. <laughs> what, so what's that thing called? Like a pet chicken A bear. coop. A, a coop. coop. A chicken coop. Oh, but it's spelled the same way as coo. Like a, Is it? I don't know. Who cares? It's coop. a coop. Okay, all right. I'll, 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 Where are you going to buy a chicken coop? I haven't yet done the, the research, but there'll be a uh, one-stop shop where you can buy no, the chickens. <laughs> it's called Nando's. Wait. What are you talking about? You can't get chickens. I won't let you get chickens. Why not? Because you can't look after this, chickens. This is 100% happening. Like, it, oh, right. I'm cool. annoyed that I am. I haven't been doing oh, this you're for, annoyed. for the year, last year that I've been living in this house. As I said, I as the, I said four minutes ago, lost eggs. as I said... All oh, the lost eggs. No, but I, like, I, okay, I, so let's just put this in real terms for a second. Because when I, I buy eggs, I don't think of them being from chickens, and that's weird. But I yeah, can't deal. Are. I can't deal with that. So you're going to actually have chickens that you love in your garden. Like you're going to care for them. You're going to give them names, presumably, and then you're going to eat their babies. They don't want to live in your garden. I'm not harming. I'm not harming the chickens. No, they're going to have a much better life than in some battery farm. Yeah, but battery farms are regulated and probably are. I, I'm hoping that chickens aren't treated like the way I joked about. I imagine chickens are treated a lot more fairly than that, especially if you buy organic chickens because they've had a lovely yeah, life. Yeah, yeah. So I would but rather. Organic, organic. I would rather rather than buying chickens and then making a little extra dinner and putting a place at the table for them and eating their children that you just spend money on organic my chickens are going to be organic and therefore their eggs are going to be organic and no they're, gonna... they're not how big my... is your garden it's, it's big enough how big well i don't know it's how big is your garden like f- five by three foot <laughs> or something okay cool stop looking at your phone okay 10 questions to answer before you 10 questions to answer before you keep chickens Have you... has someone just sent you this Ten questions you need to answer before you keep chickens. Okay. One, are there legal restrictions? There are no general restrictions on keeping small numbers of poultry up to 50, so you're fine. But you should check your house deeds or tenancy agreement because who knows, are you allowed to have chickens or not where you live? Who knows? Yes. Have you, are you, okay, good. Fine. Do I have enough time to keep chickens? Yes. Feeding and watering, locking up at night, weekly cleaning? Yes. What will happen during holidays? Who's going to look after them? Not me. 
What's it mean during holidays? Who's gonna look, when you go on holiday with your girlfriend, who's yeah. going to look after them? I don't um, know. Maybe James 1 will, but not James 2. James, James, James 2 is busy. Yeah, James 1. Well, he's going to get a free breakfast every day. How much will it cost? Oh, yeah, he's going to eat the chicken's children. Uh, how much is it going to cost? A lot. Can I spare enough room in the garden to keep chickens properly? Chickens don't necessarily yes. need vast amounts of space, but they do enjoy as much as you can provide. What do I want from my chickens? Well, eggs. obviously, the answer to this is eggs. Awful. Will predators be a risk? If you have foxes around, free-ranging chickens won't be an option to you unless you use electric poultry netting. So you're going to need to get Jurassic Park-style <laughs> poultry netting to protect your chickens because foxes can break through a fence. Fact. Does anyone in the household have a phobia about birds or feathers? No. I okay, don't like the program right. birds or Fine. feather. But... Do I need a cockerel? <laughs> Hens will lay eggs without a male being present, so it's not necessary, but it would be handy. Have I done Hang enough on, why, research? How those... much research have you done? What does the cockerel do? Well, the cockerel's the man, chicken, right? Chickens are women. That's why they lay eggs. So the cockerel is the man. So, like, technically you would need a man to make a chicken have an egg, wouldn't you? I'm not sure either, but... Well, chickens are women? Uh, yes. Are they? Well, they lay eggs, don't they? Men chickens don't like it. Dan! <laughs> I, I don't know. I mean, I don't officially know, but I'm pretty <laughs> sure. <laughs> so, what, chickens are female? Uh, yes, are they? Is that, is that why girls are called chicks? <laughs> yes, I is don't it? know. Is it? I'm not sure. <laughs> Can we get some confirmation on this, producer? Okay. No, no. Dan, you, cannot, you can't get chickens. Oh, no. Chick yes, chickens are women. Yes. Yes, they, that's why they lay eggs. Have you ever seen a... <laughs> uh, an, an egg. Uh, sorry, an egg's like a poo, isn't it? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> oh my god! Right, so Rather than... I am genuinely surprised you just said that because it's the kind of thing I would say. <laughs> but even I am not that. I'm not even. What? Even I am not that thick. What? No, it's not a poo. Oh, so you're having poo on toast for breakfast. <laughs> right, you cannot get chickens. You don't even know what they're doing. Well, I can. No, you can't, because you're going to end up eating poo for breakfast, because you won't even know that that's not I'll... an actual egg. I Genuinely, you need to go away and research this. You're not getting chickens, Dan. Well, I am. and well, well, you Promise me you'll research it. Yeah, no, I'm, I'm, I'm going to research it, but we're... Cool. we're... And, and never invite me for breakfast, ever. <laughs>